guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from San Diego Comic Con on Thursday, the first full day of the convention. Today, Playmates held a panel for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I wanted to give you guys some highlights of that panel. Some of the things that they showed off was for the upcoming TMNT Classics line. Of course, Bebop and Rocksteady have both already been revealed and are both coming out very soon. They did also reveal that the next figures in that lineup are based on the 1990 live action movies. The full Jim Henson looks for all four turtles. And we got a sneak peek at the Leonardo figure from that upcoming line. Very exciting stuff. It also looks like they are once again utilizing the vintage molds to re-release the figures from the classic Ninja Turtles toy line. Now we saw this happen uh, during the 25th anniversary and they are doing it again with slightly new packaging that still plays homage to the old toy line. Uh, we're getting the four turtles, we're getting Shredder, it looks like we're getting Splinter, Krang, some of these other guys down the pipeline, and once again we're getting the Ninja Turtles turtle van released. Very cool stuff. Uh, it's a great chance to pick up some really great toys again. These are supposed to be hitting stores very soon. Uh, also got a look at some of the upcoming stuff from the Nick Turtles line. Not a lot of new things. Uh, one of the cool things they did show off though is that we are getting new colors of the Mutagen Ooze. Uh, they are going to have Ninja Turtle figures inside of them again. Probably the same turtles but just done in different colors. So that's some pretty cool stuff there. One final note, uh, during the Q&A, uh, while they did say that this is unconfirmed, they did note that within the next 12 months, uh, we might be seeing both Splinter and Shredder in the Classics lineup. So that's some pretty fun uh, little bit of news for you guys there. So I'm going to leave you guys with some footage from that panel so you can see some of the highlights of what's to come for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures. So the first one up are the six inch figures with the 34 points of articulation that you guys have seen before. Uh, another one that caught us a little off guard, uh, we were very short last year when we first launched the four turtles, but they are shipping again right now, um, so it's not like we pulled it and retired it forever. Uh, and then coming up after the four turtles, are going to be Bebop and Rocksteady. And, and, and by the way, guys, when you see, I'm going to show you a bunch of images for the uh, Fall 13, Spring 14 line. And, you know, we, we, we give you the, the images that we have. A lot of these won't do it justice because, for instance, these two guys are just amazing when you see them in person. Uh, they'll also have, I forget, 30 something points of articulation, beautiful deco. And again, I think it's our best Bebop and Rocksteady ever. Uh, and then after that, what I don't think we ever did, did justice to. So I'm the first to say our original movie one turtles were nice for the day, but but really cheesy versus what you have here, which really is it's it's a basically replicates what Jim Henson did with the costumes. Uh, so I think it's beautifully done. We'll have all four turtles. This was the first one we finished. Um, and again, lots of articulation. Looks really lifelike. Um, so that'll be part of that six, fin six inch assortment going into the movie in 2014. <laughs> then we are utilizing our original molds to relaunch a handful of classic collection turtles. So these are the original four inch turtles uh, at one of our retailers. And they're gonna kick off with three different SKUs or assortments. So the first one will be the, uh, the basic figure assortment and that will be six figures. So the four turtles, Splinter and Shredder, soon to be followed by Foot Soldier and Krang. Uh, and we'll keep adding to that one. And then, you can't do without the original good guy vehicle, which is the party wagon. And again, off the original molds, we have refreshed all the packaging so that they have a common look to them. Uh, although we are using the original illustration and photo on the front panel Kid's probably 35 now. Um, and then the last item is the Mech Wreckers, actually, from 2004. But uh, 
you know what, we just personally like Turtles and Max, so yeah. brought that one back. Uh, so that'll be the third one, and just you know, look out for uh, early 14, because we'll have a, a lot of additions to the classic collection, both the newly tooled 6-inch as well as utilizing the original molds. An action figure line. By the end of 14, we'll have over 50 different action figures available in the marketplace. I don't think there's too many other brands out there that can, can state that. So, you know, obviously we launched with the four turtles, you had Splinter, Shredder, the Krang, Foot Soldier, as well as April, which launched in or August of last year. Followed that with Metalhead, Fish Face, and Doug. We have the, uh, the Ooze figures, which launched in spring of 13. And then we follow that with Leatherhead, Snakeweed, and the infamous Baxter Stockman. And what will be hitting the shelves in the very near future are these Stealth Tech Turtles, the Rat King, as well as Cockroach Terminator. And the Turtles in Training 2-Pack, which are very, very cool. Another version of Shredder 2 with the removable helmet as well as the Monster 7 pack, and everybody's favorite, Spider Bite. And then we go back to Turtles again, in Spring of 14 with the uh, Battle Shell Turtles, where the back shells actually open up and you are able to store the accessories in the back. And one thing, guys, afterwards, uh, if you want to walk up, walk up and tell us if there's figures that you think we should be doing or that we've missed out on, uh, just let us know, because uh, we'd love that feedback. In terms of deluxe figures, we launched the brand with uh, the power sound effects, where you pull on the arms and the legs, hear the turtle phrases and sound effects, follow that up with the flingers, where Mikey and Leonardo flung the disc off the chest, and uh, Don and Raph flung their weapons over the shoulder. And we'll be following that up with throw and battle, which are very cool. <laughs> you fold the arms and the legs up, throw them onto the tabletop, they spring to their feet, unveil their weapons, and are ready to battle. Then we go to the giant figures, which we have the 11-inch Battle Shell Turtles, again, fully articulated, 11 inches tall, open the back shells, place the weapons inside their back shell. And new, which will be hitting retailers soon, are the Dojo figures in the 11 inch scale that come out of the cool in their ninja outfits, ready for, ready for battle. All right, thanks, Pat. I'm going to turn it over to John Stelsner, who's going to take you in a softer direction of collecting figures. John, you got some good stuff? Yeah, so uh, starting fall this year, we're going to be introducing our uh, Ninja Practice Pals. They're 15-inch plush figures uh, that have the feature as you're sparring and practicing your ninja moves on them. You'll hear the, uh, the key phrases from each of the turtles along with some fighting sounds as well. And then uh, basic vehicles. Uh, so uh, we, introduced, we first introduced the skateboard and the Rip and Rider as our first basic vehicles. And uh, now expanding into the drop copter and the ooze cruiser. And then uh, new for this fall will be the MMX cycle and the hover drone. And then for spring 14, the grass kicker and the shell flyer. So it'll be another way for uh, your turtles to battle the, the uh, foot in the ground. We we'll also have our vehicles with figure. Uh, the Stealth Cycle, uh, seen in the show, and the Dragon Chopper with the Foot Soldier. And then new for fall this year, the Ninja AT3 with an exclusive Leo figure. And then uh, for Spring 14, oh, nice. the Turtle Sub, which uh, many of you have seen probably in the new show. And uh, that's going to come with an exclusive Diver Dawn figure. And then uh, to group vehicles. Most of you know the Shell Razor very well. Uh, this is the one we won the Toy of the Year award for this last year. Uh, you know, it's the main turtle vehicle, full of uh, ninja action. And then uh, for uh, for fall of this year, we're going to be introducing our first RC vehicle, yeah. the Shell Razor. Yeah. The 
uh, not, not only is this a full feature RC, but uh, with the press of a button on the remote, you'll also be able to fire the manhole cover discs. All of the old pizza thrower uh, uh, with the shell razor. All right, let's turn it over to Chris K. He's going to take us through the remainder of the line. Chris? So now we're moving to play sets, and uh, obviously we did the player play set. <laughs> What's unique about this one is that you know we wanted to make it a massive play set. There's not that many play sets out there anymore. We wanted to put as many features as possible in this play set. And obviously you can see, just by looking at all the various features, that there is a lot to do with this play set. Definitely warrants it, because it is the main headquarters of the Turtles. If you have any issues, Assembling this massive playset, Chris will leave his phone number. <laughs> it does take a little bit to uh, assemble, but obviously uh, there is an instructional video on our website, Playmates, that uh, definitely helps. Oh, it's really oh, it's very smart. Oh, then we move into role play. The first is the basic Ninja Gear role play. Obviously, very iconic. We have each of the signature weapons for the turtles and their favorite uh, or specific colored bandana, coupled with a couple throwing stars. And this actually got off to a huge start, and now we're actually seeing it uh, fully in stock, so it's definitely going to be around for a while. And of course, we did Leonardo's electronic sword. What's unique about this is it actually has the real character's voice, Jason Biggs, in the audio, and there's two ways to play, a, a battle mode and also a training mode that Leonardo will actually teach you how to use the katana. And of course, we have the Turtle Con, which appears in the TV show. And we also have four specific turtle voices in there, and each one plays up their personality, such as Leonardo will actually take you on a mission. Raphael will teach you some ninja moves. Mikey will actually tell you some jokes, such as how do you fix a broken pizza? With tomato paste. <laughs> and of course, Donatello will be the brainiac will actually. Uh, give you some trivia about the turtles as well. And we have some ooze, and as you can see, there's a couple different colors, so don't ooze home without it. Uh, and for this fall, we're coming out with some deluxe mat. I love it. And we actually have an assortment of the four turtles, and then later this fall, we'll also be rolling Shredder's mask into it as well. Because who doesn't love Shredder? Oh. And then for the first time forever for Playmates, we're doing a battle shell. Uh, what's unique about this is that these holsters that are in the back are not compatible with any of the basic ninja gear that kids or yourself have already bought. And there's a handle on the inside that can double as a shield as well. <laughs> so new for spring 14, we're going to come out with electronic turtle hands, we're calling the high three hands. As in the TV show, all the turtles say, I three. So now we have electronic hands with audio programmed inside uh, that has actually have an impact sensor. So if you I three someone, it'll give you unique phrases and sound effects. Also for Spring 14, we have some water weapons. Uh, we have a katana and nunchucks that you actually soak up some water and it sprays off uh, up to a 30 foot spray of water. Also for spring, we have walkie-talkies. These will be real working walkie-talkies that work up to 200 feet. Also have some unique graphics and look like a turtle con. Yeah. We also have some bob hands and some bob bags. <laughs> Round out the turtle experience for role play. <laughs> for this year, we're also having Ninja Blaster. This is a turtle hand that actually comes with six soft foam discs, Ninja Star Shurkins, that you actually load up into the chamber, and you actually, the quicker you pull, the quicker they fire. And the last item we have is the soft foam role play. So if there's any live action ninja role players out there, we actually have some soft foam weapons that are actually a little bit softer, safer, and fun to play with. And of course, we actually have a lot more product coming out for fall next year uh, that, that we're definitely working on that we can't share with right now. <laughs> <laughs> more, more turtle stuff. <laughs> Good hand. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at San Diego Comic Con 2013. 
follow at PixelDan on Twitter or forward slash Mandalorian30 on YouTube.com. Also, don't forget to shop for all your toy collecting needs at NerdRageToys.com. From vintage to modern, there's something for everyone. 